What's good, Ken? Folk, you already know who it is. It's your boy, Feel the Smile Gaming, FTS Gaming, Game, Game. Back with another Mass Effect video, part five, six? I don't know, man. But we about to go right back and head up to this damn council again. And we know we don't like these motherfuckers, man. I'm doing my best to try to save them this time. But, man, when they run their mouth, it makes you just want to kill them. You heard me? Just say, go ahead and blow that bitch up. You heard me? But anyways... Let's get into the game, man. Oh, I'm gonna. You just start with the other end, so yeah, I got a little sideways. I ain't talking to him. Y'all know what it is. Get right into it. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerless. Sorry, who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. I agree. He's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Cern is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. 
Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. And just like that, you know what time it is. It's time for my intro. Hit it. Never be you, low me tools, no I can't be fool. Low me tools, no I hate these dudes. I'm a winner one, I can never be you. Anything you could do, I can do better. I can And we back, you heard me? But man, the council still be on that straight doo-doo, man. Like I just pulled y'all wrong once and y'all still gonna doubt your boy, man. They ain't giving my they ain't giving me no type of love, man. This all right, man, you're gonna prove y'all wrong over and over again, you hear me? Council be on straight doo-doo. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Wow. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to sell some shit, cause, uh, man's man's just broke. <laughs> I ain't got no money. Oh, well, I ain't just broke. He broke, broke, bruh. Let me get some of this. And it's, <laughs> they ain't giving me no love for none of this shit I'm trying to sell. Nothing. No love. At all, my guys. Damn. <sighs> look at it. Look, look at this shit. Look, look at this shit here. Oh, my God. Damn, it's all red, 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 red. Oh, green. Oh, shit, I don't even care about. What? Damn. Uh, man. All right, y'all. <laughs> Looks like I ain't getting shit. There was... What was... Oh, it was Talk to Ashley. Oh, I'm slapped. All right. Let's see what we got to do next. Something stupid, something quick. What if we give it this? Should have known like that little thing glowing. Jane Ellie said that exposed Saren. Anything else? Spectre down. Rogue Spectre. Okay, whatever. Said that report request. Deliver information to <laughs> my girl, <laughs> Miss Wong, who can get this slong. <laughs> oh, let me stop. That was trash, y'all. But hey, hey, hey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that naughty bell. You know what I'm saying? I ain't forgot about that, man. Don't forget it, man. Hit it. You know, punch it dead in his face. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, like. Yeah, man. Loading screens was actually pretty nice, though. I, I mean, for the, how big this game was, the loading screens was on point. They weren't really too long. Or, you know, nothing like that. Oh, this Emily Wong was up here, but there's only one that's my boot thing. You heard me? There's only one of them. 
No, real talk, y'all. I know I said it before that the outfit she got is mm, scrumptious. Word on the street mm. is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist! But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Oh, she thought because I wanted to smash smash. I was going to let her get away with not getting me that money. Nah, nah, it ain't work like that. Sorry about the real cut. So some reason, some of my gameplay went a little kaplooey. So what you truly missed was nothing special. Um, we took Anderson's ship. Obviously, we normally Anderson being retired and now being a desk man. Pretty much what you missed for the most part. Ain't nothing real serious. You also missed me talk about, uh, I guess, my little speech to the new crew or the crew. The I'm the man. <laughs> and y'all gonna fuck with your boy, you heard me? But besides that, y'all ain't missed much of anything. We finally got our own ship. And we're gonna go through here. And the first things first, if I recall, I think I'm gonna go get my girl. Um, I'm blue. Double D, double D, double D, D, uh, To Sony, you know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna go after her first. Swoop her up, um, as soon as I remember where she's at, they don't really let you know, you have to like keep searching around and shit, uh, I think they don't, God, I think, tell me how to play this where she's at, I don't remember, so I'm gonna back out and see if it, I don't think it tells you, but hey, who knows, uh, no, this says Artemis Tile Cluster, go to Novaria, it says Finder, and then find the uh, Pharaoh's gas attack. So, pretty much shit. All right, um, so I guess I'm gonna have to uh, hit y'all back up in the second or two when I find out exactly where to go. Cause I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> hit that nice little Google pan. <laughs> um, I don't know, man, Look, I'm, I'm gonna see real quick. Let me check. If I don't remember it, you're gonna see a nice little cutaway us at where we need to be at because <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know. And yeah, so it most likely there was a cut because it's theorem. And we're going to get right down here. Who we going to use to use? Um, hmm. I think we're going to get with Rex and my baby girl, um, Ashley. Even though she do get on my damn nerves sometimes, but when it comes to gaming, on the game, I don't know, she gets me to arm off the weapon, so she can take a lot more damage than most other men. Sex is just that dude, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all, you gotta have somebody that's ready to ride with you. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Hey, it's time to roll. What's that? Uh, roll up, ride on down the other road. I mean, this this mission wasn't too hard. I think if you just jump above these little uh, the guests, the little armatures, I think they call it, or I don't know. I think that if you jump above them, you really can just ignore most of them little blue little things they shooting at you. Little pistol things they shoot don't really hurt you that much. Just them big blue lights that hurt you. Oh shit! Woo! Almost died. Uh, so besides that, this this level isn't that hard to get through or do at all, man. To be honest with y'all. But once again, hey, let me know what is y'all favorite level on Mass Effect? Not Mass Effect two or three. I mean, literally on Mass Effect. Mine, obviously, is Vermeer, because it was just gangster. It was epic. You get a little mini boss fight with uh, Saren. You do uh, obviously you either kill Caden or Ashley. And the, and the mission by itself is just epic. As, uh, I think it's actually the best mission on Mass Effect, to be honest with you. And there they go. Guys, armature. So it is armature. So what you pretty much do is shoot and jump and shoot and... Oh, sh didn't jump. Okay, what button was jumping in? Hold on. Ah, I don't know what button it is to jump. 
Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hey, I found it. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, pretty much is what we do here, man. It's not too hard. They don't take too much. Like, if anything, it's up to y'all for the next point. I can skip past this part. These little, this next part of us just doing this, and I can go on to more important parts of the damn missions. But as of now, it's in the video, and y'all can hear me talk and ramble on. But that don't mean much. Still hit the like, subscribe, and that naughty bell, y'all, for more videos, man. I think my last Mass Effect video was my best video yet. 80, almost 90, 100 views. Love. It hits my hearts, you know, it hits my hearts. But pretty much that's what it is. <laughs> for most of this damn video, you want me to see me jumping and shooting, jumping and shooting. So, again, if y'all don't want to see this, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, like I said, let me know your favorite mission. Now, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway because the Mass Effect trilogy, if no one has it, I am thinking about doing a giveaway, so let me know if that's something y'all would like or get into. Now, this is 16 minutes into the video, most likely, I think. 16, 17, 20, 25, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> just let me know. And I have no problem with giving away a brand new Mass Effect trilogy box. Now, most people should have it that watch this, but if you don't and you still want it, or you just want another one just because I can give it out, again, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, my next video, I will let y'all know how to win the Mass Effect trilogy box. Just let your boy know. Now, I might actually add the Mass Effect the drama in there, too, so you get all four games of Mass Effect, especially since they know they remastering the game for the new console, the next-gen remastering. Now, I don't know if they're going to just remaster it, or they going to um, like reimagine it. I don't know. Hope they just do it. I think it's just, I think it is a remaster. So if it's just a normal ass remaster, that means it's the exact same game with better graphics. Which means it's better sex scenes. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we know that's that's not percent why we play the game. Let's be real. The suit who we gonna sit there and make love to. Nah, come on now. If it wasn't for that, who would who would play the game? Now I also have a question if you guys would want me to add the Dragon Age franchise to my channel. From Dragon Age Origins, uh, I think it's Origins, and Dragon Age 2, and Dragon Age, the uh, last one, I think it was, it just came out. Again, let me know down in the comment section below. Since we have a whole bunch of me just driving around shooting, I thought I'd talk to the community a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Have a little conversations with y'all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we do, because this video is me driving around shooting Geth Juggernauts, and Geth Troopers, and Geth... Uh, armaments and yeah next time i write i most likely will cut a lot of this out and y'all will just see the main parts of me the main gunfights with me out not in the damn uh what's this thing called i can't remember what it's called but not inside of this and actually just out shooting people man yeah i had to run away a little bit <laughs> they was getting to your boy they smacking me around a little bit not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit, you know? But anyways, yeah. So, I'm sorry if this isn't the most exciting video. Um, it is a walkthrough. I don't want to skip out too much of it, uh, especially with this video already getting cut because of technical difficulties. <laughs> um, actually, I'm way past it. Uh, um, I don't know, I'm just hoping we'll have no more technical difficulties in any further videos or missing parts, especially main parts like that. I think my little speech to the crew was big, but honestly, I'm not going to go back and replay a whole half a section just to get it. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. But all right, let's go ahead and find this switch to open up this door. Uh, I knew it was that. It's never a bomb. So let's see what we got there. The gate controls over there. There's one in here. Boom. Oh, I didn't even kill him. Woo! It's, it, that's one thing I never got, but I get it on expert. I mean, the high difficulty besides insanity. I do. But who in their right mind shoots a rocket launcher in an enclosed place? Y'all, explain that to me. He's shooting a rocket launcher inside a four by four place and it's like nope no fear pure i'm gonna shoot dead at you how sway 
No, I know it's winning on expert. They take a lot of damage and they freight up bull rush you. They do not care. They don't you know how most time they would sit behind stuff and try to okay pop out. And this time, after a while, they will bull rush you. Full on sprint, dead at you. And they can t they're taking bullets, literally, like they're Superman, like it's bouncing off. Bing, 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 bing. It's outrageous. Like, what do you mean? How? I'm like, get out of here with this garbage. There's pure trash. Doo -doo. But what I'm going to start doing in between is that obviously I can't just go from mission to mission to mission. Now that I have it normally, I'm going to do a lot of grinding. That means not when I'm recording, but outside the recordings, you're going to see me doing a lot of the little surveys on planets, jumping to planets they can land on. And doing those debris missions, those little mini missions and stuff, side missions. You would not see me, most of them would not see me do any side missions. On um, recording, it will be all outside of the recording. Man, I almost just died talking shit. Bam! <laughs> that shy of the body always make a problem. You know what I'm saying? Look at it, get another one just because I'm pissed the fuck off. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, so I would do a lot because I'm obviously seeing that you, you can't just run through this game. Like you do any other time on normal or anything like that, and beat it. You have to be leveled up. You know what I'm saying? Sierra leveled up. You know what I mean? <laughs> that Sierra Russell Wilson level up. You heard me? But yeah, um, I tried it. It just ain't gonna work. I don't know how this video is getting close to 20, 23, 20 minutes, 20 minutes right now, 22 minutes. I don't know. It's um, it's 20 something minutes. I don't want it. These other videos. I don't want it to be too much longer. Like I started out with. I guess I got the little rad brad version of it, you know, set up with a, a long videos, then cut it down low, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I don't know how much long this video is going to last, cause again, I'm just playing to be playing. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I don't think like I said I don't know. If this is it might be a new video, it might be an old video. Like I said, I have to be playing and talking best so like i said i don't know how much this video is gonna last or it may be even be a new video already i might have stopped at that last part and cut off who knows <laughs> but y'all don't hear me talking this whole time <laughs> um man what do you this man how am i oh i thought i wasn't hitting him at first i'm tripping like dude what the how am i not hitting you Took you long enough to die. This is straight trash. I swear as it is, it's just.